How's it going you guys? My name is Demise and this video is going to be an overview of the new features that you can use to customize your character in Terraria 1.2.3. So to start off, let's talk about how you can change the color of your character's clothing. This new feature was implemented with the 1.2.3 update and finally gave dressers some functionality rather than just being decorated furniture when it was first added way back near the launch of the game. To craft a dresser, you simply need 16 pieces of any type of wood and a sawmill crafting station. Which if you don't know can be crafted at a normal workbench with 10 wood, 1 piece of chain, and either 2 iron bars or 2 lead bars. So once you have your dresser crafted you can simply place it down and then right click on it and you'll see this menu pop up. As you can see you can change any piece of your clothing you'd like at a low price of absolutely free. This is pretty cool because there wasn't an in-game option to change your clothing before and you were basically stuck with whatever you had selected when you first made your character. So now let's talk about the next way you can customize your character, and that is with the help of a new NPC. The Stylus NPC can be found in Spider Nest, and you simply need to right click on her to set her free. She can be found at the start of the game in normal mode since hard mode is not a requirement for her to spawn. As you can see, she sells all the default hairstyles for 1 gold, and new exclusive hairstyles for 5 gold. Your character will preview the hairstyle before actually purchasing it, so you have a better idea of what it looks like. She also sells several hair dyes, of which most have some sort of functionality, such as a life hair dye changing the color of your hair depending on how much health you have, or the biome hair dye which changes colors depending on which biome you are in. Only two are available for sale by default, but the requirements aren't very difficult to achieve, so you probably have a bunch of them unlocked by the time you get her. Of course the clothing and hair color is only seen if your character isn't wearing any armor, but this can be fixed with the familiar clothes which can be purchased from the clothier NPC at 1 gold for each piece and will basically show your character's default clothing and hair which is pretty neat. Now the last thing I'm going to be talking about is the new vanity and dice slots which were added with the 1.2.3 update. As you can see you now have custom dice slots and vanity slots for all of your accessory slots. At the top right of the actual accessory, you can choose whether you want it to be visible on your character or not, and then you can just throw on some more accessories in your vanity slots, so if you prefer the look of one set of wings more, you can show them while still having the power of the higher tier wings like I have with my flame and spooky wings. Now not every single accessory is actually visible on your character just yet, but I'm sure they're working hard on more sprites so they actually look interesting and unique on your character. But besides, if you don't actually care about the look of your character at the moment, you can just throw in some accessories into those slots so you can have them as extra storage. The die slots simply work like the other ones we already have, so there's no restrictions other than your imagination or creativity. So yeah, that'll do it for this video. Hopefully it helped you guys out, and feel free to leave a comment with your custom items, and maybe even include a screenshot so I can actually see what it looks like in-game, since I'm sure you guys are probably a bit more creative than what I've done with my character. As always, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave me a like and subscribe for more videos, and yeah, have a nice day.